Four weeks ago this morning, I was admitted to this place for surgery uh, for the removal of a non-cancerous growth. But as they were about to wheel me to surgery, it was found out that I was in atrial fibrillation. So surgery was probably not a good idea <laughs> under those circumstances. Very quickly, I had an echocardiogram and an angiogram, and it was uh, revealed that I had a blockage in three coronary arteries. And so the next morning, I went in for a different surgery. So here I am, so grateful for that cardiac program. Uh, when we were just getting geared up for that program, a dear friend and a longtime employee of the hospital came to me and she says, why are we doing that? Where are the resources? That, do, do we really have it to do that? Why are we doing it? And I said to her, well, I guess the short answer is the long-term viability of this place. Little did I realize how much enlightened self-interest there was <laughs> in, in my support along with the board of that program as, as uh, came about this last uh, uh, four weeks ago tomorrow. Not only the long-term viability of the hospital, but the long-term viability of Joe Mortensen. Uh, Dr. Jones and the staff just made it a, as positive of an experience as it can be. You know, one of the things I was very appreciative of uh, was that having this program at MidMichigan right here in, in uh, Midland, um, when I was going through this, I, I recognized that uh, before this program started up here, uh, that it would probably require myself and my family to uh, probably go to Saginaw or some other community. And for having my family in town from out of town, that was uh, very convenient. In fact, it was even more convenient for me because I, uh, I just happened to live across the street from the hospital. In fact, when I was in my, my room after the surgery, I could look out the window and actually see my house in my backyard. So I'm very grateful to MidMichigan uh, Health for starting this program and bringing it uh, to Midland. Uh, it makes such a difference to be able to, uh, when you go through an experience like this, to actually be in your, your own community and not have to leave your community uh, to get that kind of care. With me, it was I didn't have a, a chance to get uh, worried about it, scared about it, nervous about it. The help, I mean, the, the people there, uh, the nurses and the caregivers, they were super. Um, matter of fact, um, I think I was only in there just a few hours, and they asked me if I wanted to get up. I said, Let, let's go for it. Uh, rehab for me was uh, good. Uh, for the most part, I, I pushed it pretty good, and uh, I came out of it in pretty fair shape. I, I believe that you should take care of yourself. If you've got a problem, or if you feel you've got a problem, if you think you've got a problem, have it checked out. I am a survivor. Uh, 1.30 in the morning, May 22nd, 2008, I had a massive heart attack and was taken by EMS to the emergency room at Midland Hospital, where they called the cardiologist, Gregory Pelazon, got him out of bed, and he came to my aid and my rescue, and in turn, he called Robert Holmes. And Robert Holmes came in and, on Dr. Pelazon's request, uh, said my left ventricle was slogged completely shut and did an emergency double stint single bypass on my heart, but my heart was diagnosed as being mush and not fixable and the, the prognosis was very, very bad. And at that point, a decision was made to put in an external heart pump. And I was, I believe, the first patient in Michigan to receive an external heart pump. And the ironic part of the story is, is that the night before I came in, Dr. Jonathan Half from the University of Michigan came to Midland and gave a seminar on how to install an external heart pump and the next night they had to do one live and Dr. Holmes did that flawlessly, hooked everything up, got it right the first time and basically saved my life by his skill and, and direction through the cardiologist and his own skill and some divine intervention and Dr. Jonathan Haft 
at U of M said the work that they did in Midland was impeccable. And for that man to say that would be the biggest compliment you could receive in the whole entire world. And because of the care I was given, I'm alive today. I have three children and a wife, and I'm the most blessed and lucky person on the face of the planet.